All right, now, I know most people watching this video uh, are under the age of 21, so this won't be, uh, we're going to talk about consuming alcohol, so this won't be pertinent to you. However, uh, I do, I have heard that there are students out there who uh, decide to drink, and, and maybe you have friends like this, and so this video is really for you to share this information with your friends, uh, so therefore you don't have to worry about um, I know it's not for you, and so uh, you wouldn't be watching this. But uh, but tell those friends to uh, to join our site and take a look at this information. But uh, let's just talk about alcohol and um, and gaining weight. And uh, and simple simple matter of fact is alcohol uh, has a lot of calories, and it will cause you to put on the pounds. Uh, it's just there's a number of reasons for it. I'll go through a couple of them right here. Uh, number one is drinking makes you drink more. It's just kind of how it goes. One beer uh, may not have a lot more calories than, than a can of soda. Uh, however, uh, when's the last time you drank or that anybody drinks one beer? Uh, so you can drink one can of soda and be done. Uh, but, uh, but with beer, people typically drink two, three, four, five, you know, and drinking lowers your tolerance to um, making good decisions or stops you from making good decisions. So, uh, so therefore you tend to drink more than just, you know, one beer or one glass of wine or something like that. Um, number two, uh, a very, uh, a lesser known fact about alcohol is alcohol slows down your metabolism of, uh, of fats and, and other things in your body. Um, alcohol, it's kind of, if you kind of look at your, um, your, your body as, as it metabolizes, it, the first thing it goes after is sugar. Uh, so simple sugar and then complex sugar, uh, then it breaks down to simple sugar. So that's the first thing that it goes after. <clears throat> after sugar, it will then go after uh, uh, either fats or, or muscle uh, or proteins. You know, it goes after those two things. So that's kind of like the, uh, the order. Uh, that's why when, you, when someone goes on a marathon run, they'll, they'll carb load. They'll, they'll, put up a, they'll, they'll eat a lot of carbs. They'll eat a lot of sugar or pasta or complex sugar, so it has to be broken down during their run so they don't start eating away at their muscle tone and their, and their fats and their other stored energy. So, <clears throat> so that's just how it works out. So what will happen is, is when you drink alcohol, though, alcohol breaks down into something called acetone or acetate uh, or acetate. I don't really know particularly how to say it. I'm not a... Uh, chemist. Uh, however, it breaks down to acetate and also breaks down to fat. And so the alcohol gets stored, so part of it gets stored as fat, but the acetate uh, gets in the alcohol gets gets burned first. It takes, it goes even before sugar. So your body wants to get rid of the alcohol in your system, so it'll go and it will burn that even before it starts burning sugar and carbohydrates, and then it will get to your muscles and fat. So, so if you're drinking a lot, uh, it'll slow down your, your breaking. So you might drink, and I'm going to talk about this in a minute. You might go drinking and then go to the gym. <laughs> okay, I mean, obviously you don't go, most people don't drink and then go straight to the gym. But if you're drinking, you know, late at night uh, and then in the morning you're like, oh, I'm going to wake up at Sunday, I'm going to go to the gym. Uh, well, what's happening is if you haven't burned off that alcohol in your system yet while you're asleep, and metabolism isn't very high when you sleep, uh, when you go to the gym, you're going to be burning alcohol before you start burning the other things that you want to burn so you can start losing weight. So you're almost wasting your time at the gym uh, because you're, you're, you're taking in the alcohol. So uh, number three, another point, uh, it often, uh, alcohol often accompanies irresponsible eating. <laughs> um, drinking get, usually means that you're partying or you're out or you're with your family or you're, it means you're out doing something. And, and if you're partying, it's very easy to eat snacks and fried food and say, you know, I want to go to the diners or let's go at Rutgers. We had the grease trucks. Okay. And we'd have fat cats, which was uh, double cheeseburgers on a whole, on a hero roll with the fries in there, lettuce, tomato, and everything. And it was all big hero. Ah, oh, and everybody would go and eat fat cats. Uh, and, and normally people wouldn't eat a fat cat but, but during the day, but after drinking, it was like the best thing in the world to go eat. It was like a million calories. And so, you know, studies have shown that, that people eat more on average when they are drinking or when they have alcohol with their meals. And so uh, at restaurants, they know if you're drinking, you're more likely to uh, order something else in the menu or to get something else brought to you or to order desserts just because alcohol is present. So, so it's another reason why you gain a little weight when you're drinking a lot. And the fourth one is alcohol is very calorie rich. Uh, a calorie is a measurement of heat. Uh, so we say we're burning calories. So when you metabolize uh, a molecule, it gives off, it breaks down, and it gives off heat. And that's how they measure. That's how they measure how much energy it takes, or how much energy is inside of a, a molecule of something. So, uh, so it's about the heat given off. So if a certain amount of heat's given off, uh, then they know. 
what you're burning or how, how much energy it takes to, uh, or how much, you've, you've, how much you've burned of that molecule. And so, um, so alcohol is about seven calories uh, per gram. Uh, so every uh, gram of alcohol, when it burns down, it takes about seven calories to break down uh, uh, an alcohol molecule. So simple carbohydrates and, and proteins are typically about four calories per gram, and fats are, are nine calories per gram. Uh, so, so if you want to calculate how many calories you're drinking when you're, <coughs> when you're uh, or how many calories you're intaking when you drink, I'll give you a, 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 a breakdown. So a 12 ounce uh, 12 ounces of beer, all right, which will which will fit in like a cup like this. You might have seen these cups before. Uh, I heard uh, people use them because of water there uh, for playing um, particular games. Okay, so this is a 16 ounce cup. So a beer is about a typical standard beer glass bottle beer is about 12 ounces. So a whole beer will fit in this cup and. You know, at certain parties they'll uh, they'll pour instead of having a glass bottle around where you know if a fight breaks out or something, there won't be having glass bottles. So they give the cups, and you just pour the whole beer in a cup, and it will go. So that's this is about 12 ounces. Uh, a, a beer is typically anywhere between four to six um, percent alcohol. Uh, that's the amount of content in a 12 ounce um, bottle. All right. Now a standard drink. So this would be I would consider that a standard drink. Uh, a standard drink is about 13.7 grams. Of pure alcohol, all right. So, so a 12 ounce beer, four to six, uh, four to six percent, is going to be around 13 grams of alcohol in that drink. Obviously, six a little bit more, four a little bit less. Right. Uh, a five ounce glass of wine. All right. So this is a 10 ounce. Uh, this is a 10 ounce uh, wine glass here. I think it's actually 11 ounce or 10 and a half or something like that. Uh, so this is about five ounces of wine. Uh, wine is typically anywhere from 12 to 17 percent. Um, Alcohol. All right. So, uh, so there's a um, a Pinot Grigio. All right. So uh, popular. This is uh, you can't see it, but this is 12 percent. Uh, if you have a White Zinfandel, White Zinfandel is about 17 percent, which is a lot more. So, so five ounces. Let me show you how fast this goes. There you go. <laughs> um, so you're talking about 13.7 grams. Uh, of per, pure alcohol that I just drank right there. Actually, I didn't drink th that much because that was not wine. That was pomegranate blueberry. It's a very tasty uh, drink that I drank. I don't drink wine. So uh, I don't really drink alcohol at all. But that's how fast it goes, like that, just to show you how fast that is. So uh, a one and a half ounce a shot. So here's a shot. This is, uh, I got this from Prague, one of my shot glasses. I like shot glasses. I don't really drink shots, but I like shot glasses. So, so a, a typical um, shot is about one and a half ounces uh, so if you're having like something uh, like Goldschlager, this is 43% uh, alcohol, okay, so, uh, so almost half. Uh, typically gins, rums, vodkas, whiskeys, all those types of things are typically around. You could look at the proof if something, uh, a proof is uh, on a bottle. Most times it just says percent alcohol, but sometimes it'll say like 80 proof. If you see something that says proof, you divide it in half, it tells you the alcohol content. So, uh, so if it's 80 proof, it's it's 40% alcohol. So, uh, so if I have one shot of that, uh, that would be equivalent to one of these as far as alcohol content, or that glass that I just emptied out, and all about 13.7 grams of alcohol that I just drank in any of those three containers. So let's. Uh, so he's like, okay, 13.7 grams. Well, but remember, it takes seven seven calories to burn a gram of to burn a gram of alcohol. So if you're d drinking a, a bottle, if you're drinking a cup of, of beer, all right, so uh, you're talking that's 90, so you take 70 times it by 13.7, and uh, you're talking about 96 calories, so almost 100 calories, depending on the type of beer, maybe even a little bit more, that you're drinking in one cup of beer. Now, again, who goes out and drinks one cup of beer, all right? Uh, hopefully, if you're the driver or something, maybe you drink one cup and you don't drink anything after that. Uh, but you have three of these cups, uh, you know, that you're talking about, 290 to 320 calories that you drank in three beers. All right, that's a lot of work. I, I went to the gym earlier today, and uh, it took me 20 minutes on the stepper to, to, to burn uh, 260 calories uh, at the, on, on the machine. So, so if I was drinking, if I had drank three beers right before I got on the stepper, which would be you know, ridiculous, but that entire workout would have been wasted just burning off the alcohol. It wouldn't have affected my body you know, other than my body's like, I got to get rid of this alcohol, I got to get this out of the system, and that's what it would burn first. So that's a lot of work just to, to burn off three beers, three little cups. So if you're more sophisticated and you're drinking that wine, you know, I said like the Pinot Grigio, it's 12% alcohol, so that five ounces... That's it, okay? So by the way, white Zinfandel, you'd have, you'd have to work off a little bit more. So, you know, again, 
uh, two or three glasses of wine. This is a small little glass. You know, most sometimes you'll see big, 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 huge wine glasses that are 16, you know, 22 ounce wine glasses. So, uh, so there you go. Um, you know, again, every shot. Hey, let's do shots. All right, you do three of those shots. You know, uh, be sure to work out a lot. <laughs> okay, and and these are just, you know, these are just. Those drinking that much, what I just drank, you know, three of these or, you know, uh, or a shot of this uh, or a couple of two or three shots of this is not going to, most students, most people, that's not going to get you drunk. When you see someone that's like drunk, understand they drink a lot more than that. So, you know, so the, the point of this is not to say, you know, don't drink or, or whatever, but I want you to be, I want you to realize that's a lot of calories to burn off, you know, if you're out drinking. And and some people, by the way, they, they go out Thursday night. A lot of people go out on Thursday night to college, you know, to drink. You know, Friday night they go out. Saturday night they're out. You know, if there's a, if there's a football game or basketball game, they drink before the game, pregame. Uh, they're out in the uh, parking lot drinking beforehand. You know, then you have Sunday night football. People are drinking there. Monday night football, people are drinking there. And so if you're drinking almost every day, Thursday through Sunday, okay, or even just three of those days, Again, we're talking about weight gain. We're talking about the freshman 15. You know, you're you're going to be gaining weight, and 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 even if you're exercising on a daily basis, you might you might even get you more frustrated. It's like I'm I'm exercising, I'm working out, I get up every morning and go run or whatever it is you do, and and uh, I don't seem to be losing weight. I'm still gaining weight. Well, you know, these things are the you know the reason why that happens. So um, so you know you can collect the shot glasses, just don't don't drink a lot out of them. All right. So or at least be very moderate. Uh, if you're going to make the choice to uh, to drink, um, but understand that, you know, that's a lot of calories. <laughs>